In this video, we'll show you how to edit the header and footer in WordPress. We'll see it for two popular themes, Cadence and Bloxy. We'll also show you the new full site editing method. First, let's learn how to edit header and footer in the Cadence theme. Cadence is a hugely popular theme with lots of features and starter sites. You can use its free version for a basic site. To use its advanced features, you need a paid version. Learn more from the link in this video's description. So we have logged into our WordPress dashboard. And if we take a look at our site right now, you can see we are using the default theme and it has nothing over here. So we are going to go back to our dashboard and install a theme first. Okay. So to install a theme, hover your mouse over appearance and click on themes. And from here, click on add new. You can see this is over here. If you cannot find it, you can search for it over here, but usually this is on the top. Okay, so we're going to click on install from here and wait for the theme to be installed. It's installed, now let's click on activate. Okay, so our theme has been activated. So you can also see this notification where it prompts you to install the Cadence starter templates. But let's take a look at our site without the template. Okay, so this is how our um, website looks right now. So there's one post over here if we click on it. So what we generally do is we import a starter template and then replace all the images and texts with our own. But we're not going to do that right now. We are going to actually see how you can customize the default header. So to do that, we are going to go to the appearance and we can either click on customize or we can just visit our site and click on customize over here. It's going to take us to the theme customization menu. From here, you can see there are a lot of options. We are going to choose the header. And from here, you can see a header builder has appeared. So this header builder represents your header over here. So you can see the logo is over here on the main row and the primary navigation is over here. All right. So if you um, grab these elements and place it somewhere, for example, in the middle, you can see the logo has been moved to the middle so basically you can just grab the elements from here and drop it anywhere you like and the header will align itself accordingly okay you can also view it in mobile and tablet and make your website responsive so first let's take a look at how you can upload your logo from here what we can do is let's say we want to upload our logo what we can do is click on this settings button over here and from here you can see you can select the logo so we will click over here and we don't have any logos right now so let's upload one so let's say we are using this logo so we're going to click on select and you can also crop your logo the way you want so you can select this part only all right but we're going to click on skip cropping Okay, so you can see the logo it looks a lot bigger, so we have to resize it. To do that, we're simply going to reduce this slider, and this will reduce the pixels. Ninety pixel looks good enough, and you see the tilted frame, the title over here doesn't look good, so we are going to remove it. So we're just going to click on the logo, and we can also add a bit of padding from top and bottom all right to do that we can go to the design and from the padding we can add 10 pixels from top and 10 pixels from bottom if you want you can increase more let's say we can increase it to 20 okay so we now have a bit of padding for our logo and now after you do that, the next thing we have to do is add in some navigation links. So you can add your pages over here, such as the home page, the about us, the contact page, and many more pages. So we have to first uh, customize our menu. So to do that, first we are going to click on publish to save our changes. And then let's go back to our dashboard. And from here, we're going to go to pages and add a few pages okay so we're going to click on add new page over here and let's give a name to our page 
So we're going to call this page about us and from here we can create our page. We are using the Gutenberg Builder. If you're using Elementor, you can use Elementor to edit your page. So we're going to add an image. Okay, so we have uploaded an image. Now let's add some text over here. So we're going to open a paragraph. So we added some more text. Now we're going to click on the publish button to publish our page. So like this way, we are going to create a few more pages, okay? Okay, so we added our pages. We also added some posts for our website. Now, after I'm done with this, I'm going to click on um, menus over here. So you hover your mouse over appearance and go to menus. And from here, we are going to create a new menu. You can create a new menu clicking over here or you can name your menu over here. So we are going to write main menu and we're going to check all these boxes so we want them to be displayed in the primary secondary mobile and footer you can have different menus for different sections but currently this is okay and to add the navigations to your menu you can simply select which pages you want to add and click on add to menu all right you can also drag and drop these in any way you like all right so we also want to add another page called home so we can do that by going into pages and creating a home page or what we can do we can also uh, click on custom links create home and then adding in our link but that's not the correct way to do it all right the correct way to create a home page would be to actually go to pages create the home page and then set that home page from settings so we're going to click on save menu now let's go to pages and click on add new and we're going to write home then we're going to click on publish now let's go back okay then we are going to hover our mouse over settings and go to reading and from here we're going to click on the static page and then we're going to click on the home so this is our home page and post pages we're going to select blog and then we're going to click on save changes all right so now let's go to appearance and menus and we are going to add in the home page so if you don't see uh, the pages over here, you can select the view all. Now select the home page and click on add to menu. And now this is over here and we can um, basically check where we want to put all the things. Okay, so after you realign your menu, you can click on save menu button. So your menu will be saved. Now if we go back to our um, customization menu, so if we click on customize and go to header from here, you can already see that we have our menu items, right? Now you can also add in something more. You can drag and drop this social media icon over here and then place it over here. Now you can see your social media icons are here. You can also um, put in your search bar, your buttons and other HTML elements. Okay. So let's say we want to put a button over here. We're going to drag and drop it over here. Now the button is over here, we can uh, customize it. If we click over here and we can put in a label. So we don't have a login page set up right now. So I'm just going to put a hashtag over here. You can also decide what will happen when people clicks on the button. Will it open in another tab? Will it be a set link to no follow and other options? You can also choose the button style, whether it will be filled or outline. You can choose any style you want, okay? So after that, we are going to click on publish. So now let's go back and there are a few more things we can do. Um, you can see the design over here. We can choose a color for our header. Okay. But I think this isn't looking right. We're going to click on white. All right. So it's looking great, but we cannot see if our header is sticky or transparent since our homepage isn't big enough. So let's add some content to our homepage. Okay. So we added in some content to our page. Now you can see our header, it is not sticky. It's not sticking up. So in order to enable sticky header mode, we can simply click over here and we can enable the sticky mode. All right. You can also choose if you only want the main row or the top row or the whole header to be sticky. You can see there are three rows here, of course. So um, let's say we want only the main row. Okay. So if we scroll down, you can see our header sticks to the top right now. Okay. And you can also customize your design. So let's say if I pick up the logo and put it in the middle and we can pick up the navigation and put it over here. 
So here you can see only the main row is selected. So if we scroll down, our logo disappears and only the links show up. So you can use this method to customize your website the way you want. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the original uh, design and the logo over here. And we are going to enable the whole header. All right. You can also choose uh, more options such as enable reveal sticky on scroll top. So when anybody scrolls on top, this header will appear, but we don't want that right now. We can also enable the sticky header for mobile view also. So if we choose the tablet and mobile devices, you can see the header looks different. You can customize how it looks on your own. So if we click on this button, you can see our menu is over here. All right. So this is a good way to make your website responsive. So we can also say, for example, drag and drop this button. You can see, and we can then um, customize this button. Okay, so now it's looking good and we click on publish to save the changes. Now let's go to the desktop view. If you want, you can also make your header transparent. So if we enable this, you can see our header is transparent when it's on the top and you can use different logo for transparent header. If you enable this, you can upload another logo. So when you scroll down, your logo will change. And when you scroll up, when it's transparent, there, there will be a different logo for that. Okay. So there are a lot of ways to design and customize your header in Cadence. So we're going to click on publish. Now let's learn how to edit your footer using the Cadence footer builder. So we are going to WordPress dashboard, hover mouse over appearance and click on customize to open the customizer. And from here, we are going to scroll down over here and let's click on the footer to open up the footer builder. You can see the footer builder is much like the header builder. We are going to remove the copyright text from here. We'll select the bottom row and click on the settings over here and we'll create three columns. And now we have the three columns. We can um, drag and drop in our texts over here. We can then put in some social media icons over here. Then we can drag and drop in the widgets. And now that we have the widgets, we can actually customize this widget. We can add in blocks, gallery, and then we can add more elements such as the uh, gallery. And we can upload or select images. All right. And then we are going to go back and select this widget. And we are going to add in some more texts. Actually, this widget is not needed. So let's close it up and let's select this widget and add in some more um, elements. So this is the category list. We are going to add in a header and then write categories and then drag it and drop it over here. All right, so let's go back and what we can do is we can also add some more texts. Let's say we want to add another header. So we say about us, then we can add in a block and let's say we can write stuff. Okay. So we written something about us and now let's click on publish. This is how you can edit WordPress header and footer using cadence theme. Now let's see it for the Bloxy theme. Bloxy is another popular theme with tons of features and demo sites. You can use its free version for a basic website. To use its advanced features, you need a paid version. Learn more from the link in the video's description. So we're going to go to appearance and click on themes and we're going to click on add new. And then we are going to um, search for the Bloxy theme. All right, then we're going to install it and then click on activate. All right, so our Bloxy theme has been installed and activated. Now let's take a look at our site. You can see it's more or less the same. So let's see how you can customize your header in Bloxy. So from here, we're going to click on customize. All right, and then from here, we're going to click on the header. And you can see the header builder here. It's similar to Cadence. And let's see how this works in Bloxy. So if we click on logo, 
You can see the uh, title over here appears. We are going to remove it. By simply disabling this button, we can remove the site title. We can also increase the logo size. It was 90 pixel. All right, so now it looks great. And you can also uh, drag and drop the elements in any location you want. For example, we can um, put the logos over here and we can add in different elements. For example, if we want, we can put in the social icons on the top. I think this is looking kind of great. And then we can add a button over here and then we can customize the button. And there are various other options to customize the button. You can also select the style, how it will look, the design and everything else. All right. So after you're done, you can simply click on publish to save all of your changes. Okay, so that is how you can use Block C to design your header. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you before moving on to the footer builder is how you can create a drop down menu and add sub items to it. To do that, we're going to click on publish to save our changes and then go back to our dashboard. Okay, so we're here in our dashboard and let's go to appearance, menus. And if you want to add more elements to a menu item, what you can simply do is, so let's go to posts and we are going to add these items. All right, so add to menu. And you can see we have added a lot of posts over here. So we want this post to be displayed within the block. So what we can do is simply grab it and drag and drop it below blog but before dropping it you can see there's an outline so the borders or the outlines here shows you where you want to drop so you can simply just drag it to the right and when you see this outline over here you can just simply drop it and this is a sub item of this menu so likewise we are going to drag and drop all these items over here also you can make this uh, items a sub item of the uh, upper one all right so if i click over here this post is a sub item of this post okay so we don't want that we just simply want this all right so that is how you can create sub items to a menu and then click on save menu now if we look at our site you can see sub items has been placed within our block using this method you can add many elements within your uh, menu items okay so basically that is how you can use Bloxy to edit your header now what about the footer if we scroll down and look at the footer this is the footer we have so let's first see how you can edit your footer using Bloxy okay so first let's click on customize and we're going to click on the footer so let's scroll down you can see the footer builder looks a lot like the header builder so it works the same way too you can drag all the elements and drop it over here so we're going to see how that works so let's add in some social media icons you can see we have some social media we can also drag and drop widgets over here okay so for the widgets what you can do if we click over here you can actually design your widgets you can also design your widgets from the back end so if we go back and go to our dashboard you can see the widgets option is over here you can see uh, there are various ways to design your widgets so you can simply click on this widget and click on this plus button and you can add a gallery for example we want to add a gallery and from the media library we are going to select some images okay so we have a gallery now again in, in another footer we can add in some categories so we don't have categories so let's create some categories first oh of course we want to update and then let's go to categories and let's add in some categories okay so we have some categories now let's add this to our posts we've added the categories to our posts let's go back to widgets and from widget 3 we can add in some categories you can see our categories are over here now let's update this and let's go back to our customization all right now we can place in our social icons we can place in our widget 
and you can see all our menu items are over here you can click on this edit button to edit this menu and there are too many images so we can also remove this image you can simply delete it we can also add a header we can say it's a gallery and then we drag and drop it over here and if you guys are having difficulty dragging and dropping your heading on the top of the image gallery, you can easily do it from the back end. So go back to your dashboard, hover your mouse over appearance and click on widgets and find that specific widget, edit it, and then you can easily drag and drop your heading. Okay. And then we can add in some more widgets. Let's say widget three over here. I think we can put in the widget over here and you can see the widget area of this section it's taking a lot so we can close it up click on this bottom row and it's taking the entire column we can divide it into three columns and then go back and put in the copyright text over here then we can also put in our social media icons over here All right, we can also align the copyright texts over here if you want and then place in the widget one. OK, so that's how you can design your footer menu. So I know the menu isn't looking very nice, but that is basically how you can customize your footer menu. All right, so let's click on publish. Then let's go back. So that is how you can use Bloxy and Cadence to build your header and footer. So there's more popular themes such as Astra, which uses the header and footer builder. So using this similar method, you can also create your website using Astra too. And eventually when you use more themes, when you keep on using more themes, you will know that each theme has their own unique way of building the header and footer. So the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. If you guys are using any of the default WordPress themes, so let me hover over appearance and show you such as the 2024 or 2023 theme, then you will have access to the full site editing. In that case, you'll have a different approach to editing your header and footer. So let me activate this 2024 theme and let's see how the um, full site editing works. So from here, we can click on the editor and this is going to launch the full site editor. And here it is. So once it loads up, you're going to see that everything is a bit blurry. So once you click over here, you see that everything is uh, now a bit more clear. Now you can choose any of the sections such as this home, this picture, and you can edit your site using the full site editor. So for our case, we are going to be editing the header and the footer. So first, let's select the header. When you click on the header, you may see the prompt saying edit your template to edit this block. If this appears, click the edit template link. And now you can see that we can select the uh, header portion, right? So we're going to select it and you can see that this is an element right over here. Here's the logo and here are the nav links of our website. So you are going to be using the Gutenberg blocks to build your header right now. So from here, we can see that this is a section within our header. We can select it and you can see that there are few editing options over here. Here you can see the change item justification. So um, these are two components. This is the site logo and these are the nav links. So if we click over here and search for blocks, site logo and you can see that the site logo is over here you can use it as a block right now right with the site logo here and the nav links over here so all of these are arranged in the justify space between so if you guys have used the css um, we use a code called display flex and display item space between the same code has been used over here so this is space between so if we want we can justify items to the right justify them to the center or the left side however we want okay so that's that and then for the alignment in the vertical al alignment we can align it to the top to the middle to the bottom or just fill so we want it to, to be in the middle for um, the 
width we can put it in the max width so um, everything will be put over here we can also select the full width and everything will be set apart so the logo will be over here and the nav links will be over here i think the max width of 1280 uh, was looking good so this is something that we're, we can go with so if you want to um add more content to the nav link you can simply select it and you can see that all these menu items are over here so these are all aligned over here we can add or remove sections from it. For example, this sample page, I don't want it over here. I can simply select it and click on this three dots option and click on delete. And you can see that it has been removed. Also, I want this home to be in front, so uh, we can change its position. So let's select it. Let's select home and let's drag it and drop it over here. And you can see it's perfectly aligned. We can also select each individual uh, links and we can see where the URL is heading to. And like this, we can edit each and every link. All right. So we're going to select this. And from here, we can either click off on this plus icon or over here to add a block. So we can add a page link, a custom link, a button, um, a site logo, page list, or a search bar, right? So if we click on the search bar, you can see there's a search over here. People can search for content, but I don't want this. So let's remove it. I was just showing you. We're going to actually click on this plus button and add a custom link. For example, we don't have a page, but we want the menu item to be here. So currently we don't have that. We are just simply going to put a hashtag over here. So let's select uh, this link over here. Let's uh, create a label. For example, I'm going to call my page gallery. And we don't have the page right now, so we're going to put a hashtag over here. And we can describe what the page is about. And you can see the menu item has already appeared over here. So using this method, you can insert links even without having that page created, right? But it's better to actually put the link of your page, okay? So next, we can also add a button. So um, you, you can see as soon as we clicked on the plus button, the link already appeared appeared so we don't want this right now we are going to remove it we're going to select this entire block click on this plus icon and let's say we want to insert a button and let's call it the login button okay so you can also put in your link for example let's select it and from here you can add in your url or link right and you can also design your button so let's see how you can design it so let's select the uh, styles and from here this is basically the global uh, typography colors and layout palette from here you can change your button colors and typography all right so let's click on the colors and from here let's select buttons and for the text i think it's okay uh, let's select a different background let's select uh, this color or we can just click over here and choose a, another color a light red all right so it's looking perfect all right so that is how you can edit your header right let's uh, move ahead and see how you can edit your footer so let's scroll down and over here we can see our footer over here so the footer is already pre-built but I'm going to show you how all of these were done so from here you can see this is your site logo and uh, this is your site title you can see this block over here so if we open up the Gutenberg blocks over here and if we type in site you can see the site title is over here site logo is over here and a site tagline block is over here so if we click over here we currently don't have a site tagline you can write it up or you can remove it if it's completely up to you in the next section you can see there are three columns divided into three stacks right we can select the entire stack or we can um, insert new uh, columns within it so um, if we go to the blocks again and if we search for column you can see there are ways to insert a column so if we grab it and put it over here you can select how many columns uh, we can have so currently for this section we can use this one and then you can add in your heading and then you can add in your links right so that is how you can create columns so let's remove this right now so within this you can also insert your own column so let's say um, we can click on this plus over here 
and let's say we are going to select a header and we're going to call it gallery all right so it looks really big right now so if we want we can drag and drop it over here all right and then we can change its uh, size so let's go to the uh, typography option from here we can select the headings and from here we can select the size of the uh, text so we can select medium large I think medium was good we can also select a font for our uh, gallery Ricardo sans serif I think the this one was looking good all right so then we can actually make this bold and down here we can add in another block so here's the gallery block we can add in some images let's add some images all right so we have a gallery block over here so using this method you can um, customize your footer as well and for um, the text and these links you can actually put in your own links over here currently you can see it's written Facebook and it doesn't have a link on the hashtag is provided so you can click on edit and put in your own uh, social media links and that is how basically you can edit your header and footer using the full site editor okay so that brings our tutorial to an end hope this video was helpful for you guys if you want more helpful videos on wordpress website check out our channel subscribe to this channel because we always upload helpful videos on wordpress okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video take care